Discover the crispy world of deep fried. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to explore a very interesting and delicious phrase that you might come across in English menus, cooking shows, or food blogs, deep fried. This term is not only popular in culinary circles but also used in various English expressions. So, if you've ever wondered what exactly deep fried means and why it's so widely used, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. When we say something is deep fried, we are talking about a cooking method. It involves submerging food in hot oil or fat until it's cooked through and crispy on the outside. The idea is to cook the food at a high temperature, very quickly. The result? A delightful golden brown color and a delicious crunchy texture that many people love. But deep frying is not just about taste. It's a cultural phenomenon, especially in places like the southern United States where deep-fried foods are a staple at fairs and family gatherings. Deep frying may seem simple, but it's actually a careful balancing act. Here's what you need to know about the deep frying process. 1. Choosing the oil. Not all oils can handle the high heat needed for deep frying. The best oils are those with a high smoke point, which means they can get very hot without burning. 2. Preparation of food, before deep frying. Food is often coated with a batter or breading. This adds flavor and protects the food from getting greasy. 3. The right temperature. The oil is heated to a temperature typically between 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. 175 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius. If the oil is not hot enough, the food will absorb too much oil and become soggy. 4. Frying in batches. To keep the oil's temperature steady, food is fried in small batches. If you add too much food at once, the oil temperature drops, resulting in unevenly cooked food. 5. Safety first. Deep frying at home needs caution. Always use appropriate tools and never leave hot oil unattended. While deep-fried foods are often associated with American cuisine, many cultures have their own take on this cooking style. For instance, in Japan, you have tempura, in India, there's pakora, and who can forget the classic British fish and chips? These dishes show how versatile deep-frying is and how it can be adapted to different tastes and ingredients. Deep frying has also made its way into English expressions. For example, when someone says they are deep into something, it sometimes means they are fully immersed in a situation, just as food is immersed in oil. While it's not the exact same use, it's a fun way to think about the phrase, deep fried, in a metaphorical sense. That's all for our deep dive into deep fried. I hope you enjoyed learning about this cooking technique and the various foods that can be deep fried. Now, next time you come across this phrase, you'll know exactly what it entails and can enjoy these treats even more. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more language learning content. Happy learning and happy eating!